Hey guys, how we doing? Good afternoon. I'm not going to do a video today, but I need to talk. So let's get into this. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't going to do a video today because I absolutely feel rubbish and I've not slept. So I was supporting a friend who is in hospital at the minute, she's been admitted. But she didn't get admitted till about half past, uh, about three o'clock this morning, so I didn't get home till 3.30. And oh my lord, I am paying for it today. I'm not going to get into details because it's not my it's not my place to say because she's asked me not to. But yeah, I am shattered. Anyhow. And I was, I was just coming from seeing IHTT today and I, like I said, I won't go to a video but I felt, it just popped in my head and I thought, you know what, I need to talk to someone and who better than the subscribers and you might relate to this. So today when I was talking to a mental health team, I was speaking to them, I know I'm going to bang on about the doctors again but it's playing on my mind and I did say... And they're putting in, they're going to help me, they're putting in a complaint as well because I showed them my notes. Um, and I said I never said that and I never recorded it, COVID. And you know what it is? This is where, this is what I'm going to say about doctors. Not all doctors are, say, are like this, so I'm not going to sit there dissing them all because some of them are really good. Um, it's just the odd one, like, <laughs> I've experienced and... I feel like when I feel like they don't see you as a person. I feel like if you've got mental health or like a chronic illness or anything like that, they see you by diagnosis. And I think once you get labelled by something, you're labelled. And I think that's what is going off here because like I got upset over it because I feel like they're not seeing me as a person. I've gone in there to talk about something and no straight away mental health it makes me like I've gone crazy and it's making me feel that way. Like I am going crazy. But you know what? The two workers I had today were really good, um, and I felt better afterwards. To be honest, and they told me to come home and have a sleep. But my mind's just too busy, and it's not going to shut off. So I'm I'm going to have to pass on the sleep. But I've got a cup of tea. I had a dunk, generally dunker, to try to eat because I didn't get out to eat last night, or I didn't get. Uh, we had to ask for a sandwich, I think, about half two because the, the vending machines were, were broken. So that's what I feel like the doctors do. Once you've been diagnosed with something, I feel like you get labelled and they treat you by that label, if you understand what I mean. Com pop a comment down below, please, guys, if, this is ever, if you've ever felt like this. Once you've got a diagnosis, like one of my diagnoses is the UPD, which I don't believe I've got. Um, but one of the nurses who explained it to me yesterday, and I still don't think I've got it. It's just, I've, I'm, a, I'm just an emotional person. I can't help it. So I've always been like that since a kid. But, and I take things to heart as well. And I forgot where I'm going with this. But, I just feel like, that, yeah. Once you're labelled, you're labelled, they don't, they don't see past that, they don't see you as a, a human being, they don't see you as a, oh, I'm not feeling well, I need to be seen, and it's not this, and it's not, um, and I even said to the doctor the other day that it's not my mental health, I know the difference between my mental health and my physical health, and my physical health is not great at the minute, as probably that is a lot of people, but, like, she, the lady today that saved my HCT, she is putting in a complaint for me on my behalf because I showed them what the doctor wrote on my notes because obviously I can access my court, uh, notes and all it was that mental health, mm, mental health. I'm like, I'm sick of getting labelled and I'm frustrated and I'm annoyed and I'm upset with it. You know, I'm probably going to think, oh, yeah, whatever, but... I'm sure there's many people out there that feel exactly the same. 
you just I just want to be normal like everybody else yeah I suppose mental health and we all have a little bit of mental health in us you know what I mean um we all have our days where we you know type of feeling but you don't need to be what's that word I feel like some people are judgmental treat you different like you've got a disease of some kind that's just my opinions I might be wrong People look at you different when you've got mental health. I've noticed a lot of that because I've lost a lot of people, a lot of friends because of my mental health. And I get looked down at, I get talked about, and I can't help it. And this is why I don't trust anyone anymore. And I don't have anyone in my house anymore. Um, and I'd rather have no friends if, if that's the case, especially where I, uh, the area I live in, everybody. <laughs> it's just, my the way where I live is, it's just very noisy and you just can't, you can't get a rest. However, when I came home, obviously I had to get a taxi home. Someone has damaged my car. Whilst I've been out, I've got a massive, big, dirty scratch at the back of my bumper. So someone's done, they've done something. I don't remember banging into anything. So I know it's not me. Um, I'm guessing it's happened either when I were at my appointment yesterday at the hospital or it's someone's done it in the middle of the night and got caught at you um and the clouds the clouds are getting dark overhead so i didn't get i didn't get until about half past three this morning because i was part of mate that's in hospital at the minute and um, not going to get into anything else like that because it's not my business um, and and she's asked not to say anything to anybody even where i live uh, anyway so that's why i got bugs under my eyes because i didn't get to sleep till about just after four and I woke up at about half ten and I thought, do I go back to sleep and miss my appointment? But then I think, no, I can't. I, f I feel rude not going to an appointment and then I get paranoid. Oh, they're going to take me off here and blah, blah. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to go because I think I'm going to have to have an hour or something because I'm absolutely drained. And I'm going to finish my cup of tea, watch a bit of Casualty 24-7, whatever it's called. And I'll catch up with you in the next video. Thanks again for watching guys. If you are suffering with a similar situation, let me know in the comments below because it's nice to know if someone else is struggling and I'm not, it's not just me thinking it's in my head. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button please. Subscribe if you haven't already and press that notification bell because it does help with the algorithm and it pushes my videos out further for other people to see. I think with the, is it the algorithm? People, if you watch someone's video, it helps. But you, when you're liking it and you're communicating it, that's what helps with it. So, yeah, and it helps me feel a bit better about myself. So then I think, oh, I'm okay, I'm doing okay. When I don't hear it, I get paranoid and I get, oh, what am I doing wrong? Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Enjoy the rest of your what day we on Thursday, and I'll see you later. See you later. Enjoy the rest of your day.